हेलो एवरीवन स्टोरी टेलर शिवानी में आपका स्वागत है आज की इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे कि वॉल्ट विटमैन और उनकी पोएम्स आउट ऑफ द क्रेडल एंडलेसली रॉकिंग व्हेन लाइलेक्स लास्ट इन द डोर यार्ड ब्लूम्ड गॉड और प्रेयर ऑफ कोलंबस से क्या क्या क्वेश्चंस बन सकते हैं तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन है वॉल्ट विटमैन वॉज एन डैश पोएट इसेइस्ट एंड जर्नलिस्ट सो द आंसर इज अमेरिकन नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज वॉल्ट विटमैन बॉर्न सो ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन मई थर्टी वन एटीन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन ट्रांसडेंटलिज्म एंड रियलिज्म सो द आंसर इज वॉल्ट विटमैन नेक्स्ट हु इज कॉल्ड द फादर ऑफ फ्री वर्स so the answer is walt whitman next leaves of grass a poetic collection of whitman is often described as so it is described as obscene for its over sensuality next where was whitman born so he was born in west hills new york next when did whitman die so he died on march 26 1892 next question through much of his career whitman resided in so the answer is in brooklyn next when was leaves of grass published so it was published in 1855 next whitman's poetry often focused on both dash and dash so the answer is on loss and healing next question who called whitman america's poet he is america so the answer is ezra pound next what is the basic theme of the poem out of the cradle endlessly rocking so the answer is relationship between suffering and art next in out of the cradle endlessly rocking whitman used the images of so he used the images of bird boy sea etc next according to some critics this poem is an dash so it is an elegy next what does the poem out of the cradles endlessly rocking show so it shows how a boy matures into a poet through his experience of love and death next question what is a sublimation of frustrations so the answer is art next what was the original title of out of the cradle and lessly rocking so the answer is a child's reminiscence next when was the poem first published so it was first published on december 24 1859 next when was the poem included in leaves of grass so the answer is in the 1860 edition of leaves of grass next the poem out of the cradle and lessly rocking features a dash walking on the beach who finds two dash nesting so it features a young boy walking on the beach who finds two mocking birds nesting next out of the cradle and lessly rocking is written in dash so it is written in free lyrical verse next question the title of the poem is symbol of what so it is a symbol of death birth so it is a symbol of birth next What does out of the cradle endlessly rocking mean? So it means the triumph of the eternal life over death. And the last question, the poem out of the cradle endlessly rocking later published in dash with the final title. So it was published in the year 1871. And now some questions from when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed. So The first question is who wrote the poem when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed so the answer is walt whitman next when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed is an elegy to whom 
so it is an elegy to president abraham lincoln next when was the poem when lilacs last in the dooryard bloom written so it was written in the summer of 1865 next question when was abraham lincoln assassinated so he was assassinated on april 14 next when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed first published in so it was first published in sequel to drum taps next what is the form of the poem so it is pastoral elegy next question what is the meter of the poem so it is written in free verse next how many lines are there in the poem when lilacs last in the dooryard bloom so there are 206 lines next question who were the publishers of the poem so the answer is gibson brothers next in the poem poet used the symbol of so the poet used the symbol of lilacs a drooping star and the hermit thrush next the poem that is a pastoral elegy progresses in moving from grief toward an acceptance and knowledge of what so the answer is of death next the poem when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed is compared with the elegies dash and dash so the answer is with the elegies lycidas and adonis next When lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed is a dash monologue written in free verse so the answer is it is a first person monologue next in how many sections or cantos the poem when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed divided so it is divided into 16 sections or cantos next question The three images lilacs star and hermit thrush are referred to as so it is referred to as a trinity next what does the lilacs represent so it represents the poet's perennial love for lincoln next the fallen star represents whom so it represents lincoln next what does the hermit thrush represent So the hermit thrush represents death or its chant. What does the harsh cloud represent? So it represents grief of Americans. Next, the leaves of the lilac bush is so it is heart shaped. Next, who is the departing comrade holds and detains poet? So it is the star. Next question. Hermit thrush is a dash so it is a gray brown bird and now some questions from god and prayer of columbus so the first question is what is opener and usher to the heavenly mansion so the answer is death next whitman commands thing to be dash to him so the answer is to be god like to him Next question in how many stanzas the poem the gods is divided so it is divided into 7 stanzas next what are the two anaphoras of the poem gods so it is be do my god and be ye my gods next the last two stanzas of the poem the gods are dedicated to whom so the answer is to whitman's god next who are the gods of whitman so it is all the natural element that inspire him next according to whitman who frees us from all bonds so the answer is god next question who wrote the poem the gods so the answer is walt whitman and now some question from prayer of columbus So the first question is in prayer of columbus from how many months columbus was stuck on the island so the answer is 12 months next at the end of the prayer columbus is consoled by a vision of 
So the answer is by the vision of countless ship. Next question. The poem Prayer of Columbus evokes the spirit of whom? So the answer is of Christopher Columbus. Next. In which year Christopher Columbus rediscovered the North American continent? So the answer is in 1492. Next question. Prayer of Columbus is a tribute to whom? So, it is a tribute to explorer Columbus. Next, when was the poem Prayer of Columbus published? So, it was published in the year 1874. Next, when did Whitman write the poem Prayer of Columbus? So, he wrote the poem in the year 1873. Next question. The poem Prayer of Columbus entered Leaves of Grass with the Dash edition. So, the answer is with the 1881 edition. And the last question, who was Whitman's friend? So, the answer is William Douglas O'Connor. So, I hope you liked this video. Thank you.